and welcome to Lesson Silla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the error that you're seeing on the screen. This app has been blocked by your system administrator. Now, there can be many reasons why you're getting this error. Now, the solution that I'm going to show you today is specific to an environment where you have an Azure AD joint device, you've got Microsoft Intune or Endpoint Manager set up with security baselines. Now, if that's your environment and you're getting this error, it is highly likely it is because of a security baseline setting. Now, I'm going to show you how to change that setting and hopefully fix this issue for you. So in here, I've logged into portal.office.com using my global administrator account. I'm going to click here in the admin icon to log into my admin center. From here, I'm going to go to Endpoint Manager. Let's give it a couple of seconds. All right, so now we've logged into Endpoint Manager. You can directly go into Endpoint Manager as well by going to this URL here, endpoint.microsoft.com. And I'm going to click on Endpoint Security. Once you're there, look for Security Baselines. I'm going to click on Security Baselines. Security base like a Windows 10, I'm going to click on here. Now I've got this um, security baseline profile set up. I'm going to click on my security baseline profile and I'm going to go into properties. And I'm going to click on configuration settings. This will tell you everything about this profile, all the settings. There are a bunch of settings. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight to the setting that we need to change in here. So it's local policies, security options. And I am going to keep scrolling down until I find standard user elevation prompt behavior. Now this is the setting. By default, it is set to automatically deny elevation requests. Now, depending on your scenario, at least in this case, if you want to fix this issue, all you have to do is go in here and change the prompt of credential on the secure desktop. So change the standard use elevation prompt behavior from deny to prompt for credentials on the secure desktop and click review and save and then save again. It will save, give it about five to 10 minutes, get the end user to restart their device and get them to try and open that application and that error should hopefully be gone. Now, if you guys got any questions around the background of this or you need to know more about Microsoft Intune in general, please leave a comment below and I'll answer all your questions. Um, I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.